Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shah, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shah, Waha, Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, and salutations to you sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled Examining Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1 in the Hebrew. So that's what was going on with Dan. Dan was going off. Dan set up idols and then they had priests from Manasseh and Levi. All right. So now, so check this out. You, you know, we're going through the scriptures right now. We're not, you know, you have got to say that we, we you know, we, we return to the vomit and stuff like that. No, and now we're reading the scriptures. We're reading the scriptures. And look, don't tell us that we return to the vomit when you're not breaking down the, the, the tribe chart, the 12 tribe chart. Break, break down the down. chart. You gotta do what break down, down the chart. Show us how this is dealing with Haiti. Show us how this is Mexico. Show us how what we're reading, these precepts, all the historical evidence that we're bringing out of the precepts is not in reference to what Jacob and Marsha was telling them before they crossed over into the land. Tell us how that's not dealing with that, how that's dealing with 3,000 years later in Western Hemisphere with the Americas. You have to show that. Okay? So it will do. And also, may the Most High kill you all and your families because y'all niggas are scattering the flock. And just to counter what this nigga just said, there is a 12 tribes breakdown. This breakdown is 1 hour and 59 minutes and it's on this page. In this video or in this breakdown, historical facts are utilized. And most importantly, the scriptures are utilized to prove that the 12 tribe chart is correct, which is spoken of in Ezekiel chapter 37. Genesis, the 49th chapter, consists of prophecies. The spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha was placed upon Israel and he prophesied to his 12 sons things that would happen in the future. Things that would befall upon them, hence the prophecies, and how they were going to be affected as well as their offsprings. In Genesis chapter 49, you have characteristics of each individual tribe as well as their locations. And this breakdown proves this. If the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah is dealing with you. Genesis 49 and 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So at this time frame, Jacob is about to prophesy to his sons, giving them information of prophecies they would encounter during the last days. Let's focus on befall in the Hebrew. Strong's H7122 pro pronounced as Kwa Ra, Kwa Ra, to encounter, befall, meet, to meet, hence to happen. So what would befall on our nation? The prophecies to meet, so Jacob was prophesying to his 12 sons prophecies we would later meet things that would happen to occur to anyone who's the anyone befall you going into Jacob's 12 sons going into their lineages their offsprings for the last days to cause to happen and who caused this to happen Yahweh by Shem Yahushai Befall you in the last days. Let's focus on last. Strong's H 319. Pronounced as a ka ra yath. A ka ra yath. Latter time. Prophetic for future time. Meaning hence the Americas. These prophecies did not occur on the other side of the world. All right. That's why it states latter time prophetic for future time. Hence us coming to the Americas, man. 
God damn. You niggas just, y'all want to be so fucking deep. And let's focus on days in the Hebrew. Strong's H3117 pronounced as Yahwam. Yahwam. And we get to the point, it means time period. All right. So what was that period? Us making it to the Americas during that time frame. So Genesis 49 and 1 and Jacob called unto his sons and said, gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall in a Hebrew encounter you going into the 12 tribes, which would affect the lineages of our forefathers as well as them in the last days. And their last days is going into the future tense. Meaning when they arrive to the Americas. And like I said before, if you watch the 12 tribes breakdown through the spirit, if the spirit is dealing with you, it proves the point. Hope you are edified. Shalom.